A new report reveals a growing divide between President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. The latest point of contention, student loan debt. Politico says Harris decided against collaborating on a social media video with the president. The piece suggests she was concerned about her own political future, writing, quote, but conscious of progressives pushing Biden to unilaterally cancel tens of thousands of dollars in student debt and that Biden is resisting such lobbying, the vice president has been increasingly wary of becoming part of the public face of the administration's response. Rachel, uh, <laughs> defying the president and distancing yourself from student loan debt or from Joe? I, I don't know. <laughs> She's distancing herself from Joe, but also there are reports showing that Jill is the one, Jill Biden has never forgiven Kamala Harris for you know, during the debate suggesting that Joe Biden was racist. Remember the whole busing thing. And mm -hmm. so while the racism, um, you know, comment has like sort of, you know, we're all desensitized to it on, 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 the, on the conservative side, on the liberal side, it's like, a, it's like you know, they still, they still really care. And so she's never forgiven her for that. And I think this tension um, grows, I think, because Jill Biden, um, you know, a spouse is very important in a relationship. And so th there's a lot of influence. Jill Biden has even more more influence now because she's more of like a visiting angel with Joe Biden inside all the, the time. De facto president. Yes, yeah, she's. And so I think that I think this is maybe more about the girls than 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 the president. I don't blame Jill. <laughs> right? I know visiting angel. That was. Crazy. Yes. Well, she's um, by his side correcting him and yeah, telling him not to read not books to, and, right, and I'll yeah, do that yeah. for you and yeah. keep waving. I must yeah. say I don't blame Jill. I would be upset too if someone called my husband a racist. Absolutely. Um, ben Kamala Harris though apparently she's become increasingly desperate when her approval hit 28 percent. They said as a result she was growing impatient with her own aides, almost all of whom have quit by now, whom she blamed for letting her down. The vice president even initiated an audit of her office to make yeah. it function better. Yeah, I I'm not surprised that Joe Biden saw what I think a lot of Americans saw, which is Kamala Harris may be the most undisciplined vice president political major candidate in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. And she goes rogue on everything, including the people that work for her. She goes against everybody that's telling her advice, so they quit, because why would you work for someone that never listens to you? And I think on the student debt, she said, this is my brand. I want to forgive trillion plus dollars in student debt. I want to be 50,000 a person, 100,000 a household, or maybe even more. And now when you see Democrats going, okay, maybe we can get on with 8,000, maybe 10, I think she realizes, no, 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 that's not enough. I'm a hardcore socialist. And this is going to be my platform moving forward. That's all she's got left. That's all she's got left. She's That's got true. that. Oh, there's something else she has left, Emily. Apparently, this new book by Alex Burns, uh, New York Times, coming out. They said Harris began seeking out advice from beyond her inner circle. Uh, one of the people she turned to was NBC, MSNBC's Morning Joe. So she does have Joe Scarborough left. This reminds me of when in football, if someone like hurts you and then you get, if you if you strike back, then you are the one that gets penalized, right? Yeah. That all this does is reflect poorly on her. Whatever tension there is, whatever things she doesn't like about the president, for some reason, she is responding in a way that will reflect only poorly on her, right? She's complaining, she's ditching him, she doesn't want to be seen with him. That's not a good look. These, she is the first successor should anything, God forbid, happen to our president. And what we need as the American people is a show of unity. We need her to be right or die. And we need to know that behind the scenes, there is a, a, an access of information Information and a unity that we can depend on. So this isn't a good look for her politically or uh, personally, but I think it's also disappointing and frankly a little frightening yeah. for us watching this unfold. To be that public. Yeah, exactly. It's like watching your friends fight at a bar, like your, your friends who are a couple, and you're like, God, leave it at home. <laughs> yeah. like, Even Al Gore, <laughs> Al Gore, who did not have a relationship with Bill Clinton at all during the last year, year and a half. He even shut up and stayed silent about it when he was running for president. Yeah. Yes. Carly, yes. And he knew point. it was important to say he's the guy. Yes. I'm the vice president. Carly, yep. but it's important to have a competent vice president. Like, President Trump knew he could say, Vice President Mike Pence, lead the coronavirus task force, and he would do an incredible yeah. job. Yeah, well, I also remember when Kamala Harris got COVID, everybody was like, uh, oh, okay, well, how is the president? And then the White House released a statement and said they haven't been in close contact <laughs> yeah. for some yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Okay, well, yeah, of course, that makes sense. I mean, there has been way too many well-sourced reports about friction within, especially their offices, for it not to be true. And it does make sense, you know, Kamala Harris 
Harris. The reporting says that she feels like she's being set up to fail because she was given the border job and Biden's people feel like she's unprepared. I really understand where Biden's people are coming from, but it's also his fault for choosing her during the Democratic primary. Only seven, only seven percent of California Democrats had Harris as their first choice, and he chose her for identity politics reasons. And look what's happening now. Yeah, and now there's no inevitable person to come after President Biden. People have looked at Kamala Harris and said, no, thank you.